or simply wouldn't pass it. I thought to myself, well, what's the process involved here and how difficult is it finding some of these animals? Well, Ann Harris is the owner of Animal Talent Time. It's a, a talent agency for animals in the media. And I'm pleased to say Anne's on the line. Anne, good morning. Oh, good morning, Stuart. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Now, tell me, when it comes to uh, preparing animals for, for parts on stage or, or in screen, how much work goes into it? Um, quite a bit goes on, I guess, behind the scenes. Um, look, to be honest, people can register with us, but it is an advantage if their animal does have some sort of training. Right. Um, it's sort of a combination of, of training and, and those sort of skills. Plus, they need to be you know, conditioned to an environment. They also need to be able to work with actors or other people and, and you know, not be worried when their owners say out of sight or something like that. Yeah. Um, and, of course, the owner also needs to be you know, quite professional you know, when they're on set yeah. as well. So it's sort of a combination of things, really. And do you find yeah. there are some people who will own dogs to try and get them into the different films and TV commercials, that type of thing? Oh, yeah, definitely, there is, yeah. Um, so they're like know, stage mums with, with animals instead of kids. I guess so, and I mean, look, we all love our animals, I know. Yeah. I, I mean, I love mine dearly, and everybody else is exactly the same. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and of course, every animal has their different um, strengths and weaknesses, and, and quite often the client is looking for, like, a particular look or a skill level. So our job, I guess, is to, is to match the animal up to what the client is actually looking for. How many different animals have you had called for in various films or uh, you know, stage shows or, or ads, that type of thing? Um, quite a range, actually. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, there's your, your dogs and cats are probably the most common. Yes. Um, we've had a pony, we've had a lamb in a theatre production, right. ducks in a theatre production, right. goats on TV, chickens, guinea pigs, right. uh, parrots, um, and probably our most recent is our little miniature pig. So, right. yeah, it, it can be quite varying. <laughs> now, obviously, with some of those animals, they can leave a little bit of a trail behind them. Is, is that part of the training to ensure they don't leave a little trail, a calling card behind them until they're back in their cage or their box or wherever it is they go? It is. Oh, look, we try our very, very best. Um, and, and in most cases, it works. Um, you know, if you've got something behind stage, you'd obviously make sure that it's, you know, been fed and it's comfortable yeah. and it's done all that stuff before it goes out there. But to be honest, depending on the animal, um, like in the case of a goat or a duck or something like that, it can be a little bit difficult. And yeah. we've had some accidents at well, times. Well, well, we've had with <laughs> ducks. We've all seen them as they waddle about it. At a moment's notice, suddenly they can just leave a calling card. So yeah, they can. If you've left on stage, you've got OH&S issues and all sorts of things to deal with. <laughs> we've even had people come out with night vision goggles so that they can sort of get it all sorted out before the audience can see it. So. <laughs> 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 they do say never work with kids or animals, so you've certainly signed up to one half of the equation. Is it good fun? Oh, look, I absolutely love it. I really do. And, and I mean, there's times we're working with children as well. And, right. Um, <laughs> but no, no two things are ever the same. Um, and you meet so many nice people, so yeah. many gorgeous animals. And, yeah, I mean, I'm very, very fortunate. I, I guess I've got a job that I absolutely love. No, that's right. <laughs> well, what's been one of the stranger requests you've had from producers? Um, that's a good question. No, um, just recently I had a, a request to have a, a pig open a door. Um, right. uh, now, that, that might not sound that hard, but it, because the pig is quite short, of course, so yes, it's yeah. a matter of, you know, of quite a bit of training and getting her to move a box to to the position and then right. you have to get onto the box, on the box then, right. yeah, and then yeah. unlatch the door. So, you know, there would be probably six weeks training in, in preparing a little pig to, to do that, that sort of a thing. Yeah. And tell me, what's harder to train for? Is it stage or screen? Obviously stage, you only get one chance. You've got to get it right every single night. Does that make a live performance tougher? Um, I think so. I, I guess everybody's different. I get a little bit more nervous about that because you know that you, you've only got one shot at it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, look, but you know, ninety nine percent of the time the animals are fantastic and touch wood so far we've never, you know, had an issue. They've all been really great and um, you know, most people are very understanding of animals and that you can't just say, Well, please go over there, turn around, sit face that way and do no, this. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah. so, so, I mean you know, I, I wondered have you ever got to sort of the dress rehearsal stage or maybe a night or two in and suddenly they've said, Look, Old Fido, I'm sorry, he's just not cutting the mustard here. We'll have to let him go. I uh, haven't had that happen. No. Right. No, <laughs> and I, I certainly hope we don't. <laughs> They're all very well trained, which is good. Yeah. Tell me, if people wanted to have a look at your website and find out a bit more about the Animal Talent Time, what is the, the website, Anne? Um, it's www.animal, A-N-I-M-A-L, yeah. talent, T-A-L-E-N-T, and then time, T-I-M-E, yeah. dot com. 
just dot com. Okay, yes, that's so correct. Yeah. Animal Talent Time, all one word. dot com. Yes, that's correct. And right. you can find out the details there. If you you might have a budding star as a pooch or a cat, you wouldn't know. Yeah, no, that'd be fantastic. Good thank on you. Stuart. Nice to hear from you, and thank you. You too. Thank you. Good Stuart. stuff. Terrific. Ann Harris, she's the owner of Animal Talent Time. So you'd have some pushy stage parents with their cats and dogs, just like they are with their kids. So uh, if you want some more details, a bit of fun there, animaltalenttime.com. You think about that, the idea of finding a pig that can open a door. You said, what? <laughs>